No, I would not consider it imperialism if China invaded Taiwan. And the first reason for that is because Taiwan is actually in the country of China. So it wouldn't be imperialism for them to invade themselves. And if you look into it, there's actually only a few countries in the whole world. There are hundreds of countries uh, on the globe, and there are there's only like 12 that even recognize Taiwan. I mean, you know, this is a list from a year ago, but you can Google it yourself. So that would be the first reason. Most of the world, outside of uh, a poor poet here, and these 12 countries view Taiwan as a part of China. So no, that would not be imperialism. And then also imperialism is not just when one country invades another. That is an extremely liberal way to look at imperialism. This book is Imperialism, the Highest Stage of Capitalism, a popular outline by Vladimir Lenin. This is a great short read, and it is free online. You can give it a Google. It's on Marxist.org. When we look at just here, we, we're looking at the contents of the, the book by Lenin. We can see that imperialism is far more than just when one country invades another. It's a particular stage of capitalism, a pick, particularly decayed and parasitic stage of capitalism. So for China to be imperialist, they would have to be capitalist. I don't agree with that. So Lenin summarized imperialism as follows. Imperialism is capitalism at that stage of development at which the dominance of monopolies and finance capital is established, in which the export of capital has acquired pronounced importance. Okay, end quote. Also, again, we don't we don't see that with China. In fact, we see China doing the opposite. They, in fact, forgive billions of dollars in loans to various African countries.